public key infrastructure certificate system. Let's look at the uh, the four words. Okay, um, digital signature is a process that guarantees the contents of a message has not been altered in transit. Okay, so that's a keyword. Okay, so it's to make sure that the message is not uh, being altered and give a recipient's a reason to believe that the message was created by a known sender. Okay, so this is um, um, we talk about the uh, digital signature. It's just like a human signature, right? Um, however, a digital signature faces security threats if the public key of the receiver is forged. Okay, so public key of receiver. So later we talk about what is public and what's private key, and the information sent is decrypted using private key. The authenticity of a public key used by the receiver determines data confidentiality. Okay, and uh, one public key must be possessed by uh, only one owner. Okay, so uh, the objective of this course is to describe the PKI certificate system architecture and to master the implementation of the PKI certificate system. All right. All right. So we will talk about three things here: um, digital certificates, PKI system structure. We talk about the structure, and after that, finally, we talk about uh, where do we implement the PKI. Okay. All right. So first, we need to get our uh, some of the terms. To, to clear up some of the terms, okay. Um, so the first term that we will be uh, discussing here is called the digital certificate, okay. Um, sometimes digital certificate is also known as certificate, all right, which is signed by a trusted certificate authority. So it's in short we call CA, certificate authority, and usually CA is actually a trusted third party. Trusted third party. So here's the word. It says a trusted third party. Um, so for those who are interested to know, uh, now in in the uh, in in this internet, who are the uh, some of the well-known uh, trusted certificate authorities, uh, you can do a very simple task: is to go to your browser, for example, Internet Explorer, and then you can go to under the certificate. Um, section and then from there you can actually check uh, this whole bunch of list of a trusted root CA we call it okay um, so trusted CA using a digital sign signature includes the certificate owners uh, public key and also the identity information okay um, so now what are the certificate types okay so basically we have uh, four types of uh, certificates um, the first one is called self-signed. Okay. Now, typically, uh, certificate are are being signed by the the one that I just mentioned, the third, uh, the trusted uh, third party certificate authority. Um, so, self-signed basically means um, if let's say you want to use the uh, the the uh, digital certificate just for private use, for instance, okay, um, and uh, maybe you have your own Active Directories and uh, you have your own Windows environment and uh, you, you just basically wanted to uh, fulfill some of the requirement by, by implementing some of the services, for example, uh, remote desktop gateway or maybe the uh, IIS uh, web server with a secure web, you know. So what you can do is that you can actually um, create yourself a root CA and then you actually can sign your own certificate okay using your uh, the uh, your own root CA okay so by doing that you actually do need to pay or any sense to the uh, trusted cert certificate authority okay um, then also we have the uh, CA uh, certificate uh, this is actually to to verify uh, to look at the, the CA itself, CA itself, they also have the certificate. Okay, um, then we also have a uh, local certificate. Now, local certificate basically means this is the uh, the certificate that uh, after being signed, and then we download ourselves, and then we also have something called the local device certificate. So usually this is uh, for the machine to use. Okay. All right. So let's look at the uh, digital certificate structure. Okay. Uh, and I would suggest that if you guys are interested to look at the real one, you can actually just uh, browse to any of the uh, website where the URL appears, HTTPS, for example. 
for example Google Chrome you can actually just uh, click on the uh, the, the uh, something like this uh, there's a symbol the key right and then you can actually uh, it's like a, a lock right so you can actually download uh, not to say download you can actually view the uh, the digital certificate uh, online and and to look at some of the information um, a typical digital certificate uh, includes a couple of things um, so including uh, the public key uh, the name uh, sometimes you call the uh, subject name all right and also the uh, digital signature of a CA now why is there a thing called a digital signature of a CA uh, because this is actually like a a, a third-party thing so for example uh, you have a web server here all right and uh, you want your web server to have the uh, uh, digital certificate so what you do is that we normally will would generate um, a public and a private key and after that we will send the uh, request a, a digital certificate request to a CA all right or maybe in this case a root CA so the CA will actually then sign uh, the certificate that you requested and then actually send back to you. So when, when somebody browse to your website, okay, and then uh, once they connected to your website, um, they actually, uh, it's a lot I, I just mentioned earlier, <laughs> if they connected to your website which is HTTPS and then from there they want to know that, hey, can I trust this uh, website? This is the reason why uh, there is a signature here. Okay, so this signature is actually being signed by the CA. Okay, and how does the CA sign? Um, CA will actually encrypt uh, with its private key, so it will use the private key algorithm to encrypt the uh, uh, the certificate. And then after that, um, so that signature can only be verified. How do you verify? You need to use the CA's public key. Okay, CA is a public key. Um, to verify against uh, this information, this piece of information that from the signature, okay, and CA's public key is available um, everywhere. Uh, for example, as I just mentioned, uh, any browser uh, will have a list of uh, a root CA certificate. Okay, um, so normally in the uh, digital certificate we have version, uh, we have a serial number. Uh, every CA when they generate a certificate they will have a unique serial number um, then the signature algorithm okay so what algorithm they use to sign your signature okay um, so example like MD5 or maybe SHA or etc etc okay uh, issuer issuer by who so usually this is the the name of the CA and then you will have something called the validity uh, so validity is actually how long does this certificate uh, will last okay so typically uh, five years or maybe ten years uh, depends okay uh, subject name okay subject name is actually the uh, uh, the uh, the host name typically this is the host name of the of the uh, the end user okay and then we also have the subject public key info uh, and also some of the extension uh, value okay all right so next we talk about the certificate format all right so basically there are three types of uh, formatted that are supported uh, in our system here three format and uh, usually when we talk about the format uh, we can also associate this with the file extension okay uh, so the first format is called the pkcs uh, hash 12 okay so this is one of the certificate uh, file format um, so uh, the description here is that uh, we can save this certificate uh, as a file with or without the private keys in a binary format so this is the keyword binary format uh, the form the common file extension are typically p dot p12 and also dot pfx okay now the next uh, format is called the dr okay so this is also a, a certificate file without private keys okay so this is the keyword without private keys and is also stored as a binary format so we we can't actually just read the the, the content just like that okay um, you, you cannot just use any notepad just to to browse the, the content um, the common file extension are typically dot der dot ce and also dot uh, CRT 
So if you've come across any of the file with this kind of extension, then you know this is uh, uh, one of the certificate file. Um, then finally, we have the third type is called the PEM. Uh, it's also a certificate file with or without private key. Okay, and the keyword for this uh, type of uh, file format is that it actually stores as as a ASCII format. All right. So now for those who do not know what ASCII format, this is actually a plain text, a normal plain text. So you can actually open this file, uh, any of this file extension, uh, with the, uh, our typical Notepad. Okay. And uh, you also come across uh, that uh, the two file extension are actually uh, re repeated. So here we also have the CRT and also the uh, .cer. Okay. So you have to be careful with the uh, uh, the file type.